Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with my Huawei P Smart Z. Okay, so this time I will be showing you all the system navigation gestures on this device. So I'm just gonna show you how it works. So I'm gonna go into the settings and I'm gonna go to system, system navigation. And currently by default, it's set to the three key navigation. So that's these three keys here, the back key, the home key, and the recent apps key. So I'm just gonna select the gestures and we get a little tutorial here. So I'm gonna start the tutorial and demonstrate and show you how it works. So swipe inward from the left edge to go back. Swipe inward from the right edge to go back. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen to return to the home screen. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen and pause to view the recent tasks. Okay, so let's go ahead and try that out now. Okay, so swipe in to go back. Okay, so let's view the Play Store. Okay, so if I swipe in from the top left, I can view the app features. And if I swipe in like that, I can go back and back to the home screen. If I swipe up from the bottom left hand corner here, I can launch the Google Assistant. These came back from a search. And if I swipe up, I can go back to the home screen. And if I swipe up and hold like this, I can view the recent apps. Okay, so I'm just going to show you all one more thing. So I'm going to go back into the settings and I'm going to go to system, system navigation. And we have this option here, navigation dock. If I turn it on, this will bring up a little joystick. As you can see, a little joystick here. And you can move it around wherever you want on the screen. And if I swipe to the right like this, it will bring up my recent apps. And if I swipe to the left, I can navigate through each one. And if I press on it like this, I can go back through my um, recently opened applications. So yeah, it's a really cool little feature, this little joystick. Um, and if you want to return back to the free key navigation, the back key, the home key, and the recent apps key, just go back into the settings system, system navigation, and just select the free key navigation. And if you want to remove the little joystick, just go to navigation dock and turn it off. And if you want to turn it back on later, just turn it back on. And this little navigation dock, it also works with the free key navigation. It doesn't just work with the gestures. So if you want to use it for the free key navigation, as well, the two of them work well together. As you can see there. So yeah guys, this was just my video taking a look at the system navigation gestures on the Huawei P Smart Z. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also share the video as well. If it's the first time you're watching my videos, please do, please do subscribe to my channel. It's your boy, the Android Doctor, and I'm out, deuces.